everybody. Good afternoon, good evening, and good morning. And thank you for coming to the stream and for your continued support of Clip Studio Paint. My name is Alexia, and I'll be your host today with... Joanna, hi. So this is our second live stream of our 88 Constellations in 23 hour pro uh, challenge project, which just started yesterday. There are only two hours left, so if you wish to participate, please make sure to finish up your illustration before then and to submit it on Twitter. And so for the next 30 minutes of this stream, Joanna here will show you uh, some more features of Clip Studio Paint that you can use to finish up your illustrations. And so yeah, please make sure to watch that. But before going into the demonstration, uh, I'm going to talk to you a bit about the event. So if I can get the slide on the screen, please. All right, so right now we at Celsius, the developers of Clip Studio Paint, uh, we are holding an 88 constellations in 23 hour challenge as a part of Wacom's Connected Inc. 2021. And in this challenge, we've put up an open call on Twitter and for you guys to draw illustration, uh, each inspired by the 88 constellations. And so, uh, but it's not, you don't have to draw yeah. 88 <laughs> constellations. It's just one, you can yeah. just choose the one you want and draw it. Yes. And so the goal is to complete all of them in the 23 hour uh, time limit. And so the deadline would be today, November 17 at 5 p.m. Japan Standard Time. Yes, so two hours, yes. two hours. Only two hours left. And if you don't, you're not sure about your time zone, you can check it out right now on the screen or on our website. We have the link in the description, so check that out. And so if you wish to participate, all you have to do to enter is, again, draw an, an illustration inspired by the constellation and uh, post it on Twitter along with a specific hashtag. Uh, again, the hashtags are also on the website, so please make sure to spell them uh, correctly because yes. <laughs> it won't appear if you don't do it. Yes. And so once it's uh, done, the illustration will be linked on our star chart event. Uh, so the sky will be filled with illustration will it look really cool so please look, look yeah. forward to it and very two important points the first one uh, if when you post your illustration on twitter please make sure that it's a transparent background and to post it either as a gif or png file and so the second point is the illustration you should be 900 pixel by 900 uh, yes, because exactly. if it goes over this uh it'll I don't know, Twitter, I think, changed it to a JPEG file. So please make sure it's under those uh, size because if not, yeah, exactly. your illustration will have a background and unfortunately yeah. <laughs> it won't be on the star chart, yeah. which would be such a shame to not see it. Yeah, exactly. And in case you've already posted your illustration and you notice, oh, my, my illustration was bigger than that and mm -hmm. it has a transparent background, uh, a non-transparent background, that's probably the reason why. So you can just like upload it again with, your, with the hashtag and then just make it smaller and then post it again as a PNG so it has a transparent background. We've, we've heard a lot of illustrations that unfortunately we haven't yeah. been able to select at this point because they were not transparent. So make sure that your illustration is transparent and that it's smaller than 900 by 900 pixels yeah. as and a PNG or a GIF. Yeah, and if you see someone struggling with that on Twitter, uh, comment, like tell them, yeah. uh, help them and also I don't know, maybe link them to the stream. So because Joanna here will show you also how to export uh, your file as a PNG, like save it as a PNG file. So if you don't know how to do it, don't worry, yeah. we'll explain it later uh, exactly. in the stream. Exactly. And also the illustration will be uh, part of a splash screen, right? Yes, exactly. And uh, so out of all the illustrations that are being put out on Twitter and to participate and have the right hashtag, um, Celsius will select a few and they will be on a special version of Clip Studio Paint that will be available after the event is done. So the best illustrations will be on the splash screen every time Clip Studio Paint starts up. So that's a very, very good chance for, to, for having your very personal illustration in a very personal version of Clip Studio Paint that will be available sh soon. Yeah, so that's really cool. But let's take a look at the star charts and, and see how we're doing. Oh, oh my god, <laughs> it's so, it's so, so many, there's so, so many. many, it's so cool. It looks like we're almost there, almost like. Wait, yeah, it's almost filled, oh my yeah. gosh. So if you find the one that is not yet filled, that's probably a good chance to start working on that. Yeah, 
the less pop the, the less popular ones are apparently from the southern uh, constellations are less popular so make sure to work yeah. if you want to have your illustration maybe work on that yeah definitely and also, oh. but don't worry if you if you're working on something that's already been taken oh, yeah. absolutely still share your illustration and put in the right hashtag we love to look at all of the illustrations that are already yeah. there and coming in so Definitely, definitely take part in this. Don't worry, it's not first come, first serve. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Just first completely game. not. Like, we love to see all of them, so please make sure to submit in time. Make sure it's in time, that's yeah. the important part, because we can't usually like take additional um, oh, il illustrations in con into consideration, so make sure to see that. And yeah, and you can look at the star chart, not just here, but also on the website again, and uh, yeah. see how other people dealt maybe with the with the constellation that you chose so maybe get some final inspiration yeah. to finish up your illustration because it's it's a worldwide event so so many cultures and people with different way of seeing the constellations there everyone has such different ideas of how a constellation looks like so it's yeah. really cool to see how many people interpret also the stories behind those constellations mm. i really like seeing uh I'm seeing mine, my, my, <laughs> I, my zodiac sign, which I'm pretty happy about. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. So Very make sure cool. to check it out in the in the description. We have the, the link in to there. Yes, exactly. It's all there. Yeah. So right. should we get into the demo? Yes. Yeah. Let's go into the demonstration. All right. So we can see our little banner from the event. So <laughs> very <laughs> but. Funny. Um, our, our staff at Celsius prepared an illustration for us as well and this time it's a toucan! toucan. It's so cute! It's so adorable and because of its South American uh, origin, uh, it's got a little poncho and a hat and it's very colorful already yep. but toucan, toucans are like even more colorful, they have like really colorful wings as well and yeah. they're very stylish so we're gonna make him a little more stylish. He needs a more yeah. a cooler poncho. <laughs> he needs a cooler poncho, exactly. More so um, the, one of the functions that I would like to show you is to draw a pattern onto the poncho is actually using um, one of the special rulers in Club Studio Paint. But to explain it, I will, I will create a different uh, ruler just so it's easier to see of what mm -hmm. I'm doing. So I just made a new layer just above everything and I'm gonna go to the ruler symbol and then I select the special ruler and then the concentric circle one, which is also the one we're gonna be using on the poncho. But for now, let me just show you how it works. So you make a circle like the way you want it. And it's very easy to also make it like in perspective if you need it. But let's just go with round at this point. Yeah, it's flat surface, so. Yeah, exactly. And then we just choose a pen. Let me just get a little red on here. And then the snapping of the ruler is on. So when, what, wherever you draw, it's gonna go around the circle. So it's super, super easy to make a pattern like that. And of course, like, the, it, like right now, it would be looking a bit weird if we made stripes like that. Yeah. But of course, you can adjust it to the, to the poncho on the shape that you need, actually. And you can do it later with the transform tool, or you can just do it right away. And so let's just... Very easy to use, you can yeah. just do a straight line, and that's it, you're having yeah, a Yeah, exactly. And then, of course, it works with all the pens as yeah. well. So, And the pen that we're going to use is the crayon, because the, the pens have just gotten a recent update. So there are more options. And for this one, make sure to have the, the randomize um, per stroke option turned on because this will randomize the colors yeah. of the pen. So you can make like really, really colorful patterns with just one pen, essentially. And it's not so, only this pen. No yeah, way. exactly. So there's lots of lots of different ones. And yeah, so we're going to show you how we use this one on the poncho. So I'm just going to get rid of this. Turn this off, and then we're gonna go to the little um, poncho. We have a we have a layer mask here, so we only draw on the poncho. We t we have the the ruler settings of turned on. Gonna make the the brush size a little bigger, and then we can just make very very even strokes. Ooh, that's like <laughs> hardly that's visible. Yeah. <laughs> of course, you can always go back. And try again. Maybe the colors are different next time. <laughs> They're still it's a bit purple running. and green, but yeah. very cool. But you can just like go over it over and over again and just give it a cool 
a cool little pattern. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can also turn this off and like just get rid of it and just do it by hand. No problem there. Yeah, to have different patterns. Yeah, exactly. So, and this is just for for all the the brushes. You can just use the a clipping mask and a layer mask and just. Yeah. Just try out different things you like and different brushes as well. You can give them like, I think I just found before, like you can just give them a yeah, few. Yeah, this was gonna say decoration. Yeah, give them some decoration. We had like a, like a little button. We can give them, put some buttons button on, on the on poncho. The poncho. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Stuff like that. And it's very easy. And it's if very you, easy yeah. to do. If you don't see the setting, just uh, update your your software, you yeah, have exactly. the update on our web page. Yeah, yeah. Very you can just give it like yeah. a zipper. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, you can for this zipper, this is also in the newer brush settings, mm -hmm. you can actually like just have one side of the brush of the zipper showing. So you can have like yes. if the if it's un, unzipped, you can have like <laughs> one side of the zipper and the other side of the zipper. It's very easy to do these kinds of things in the in the decoration. So let's go back and draw some more of the Oops, oh, you're not I forgot to turn on the ruler. <laughs> the ruler. And this one is circular, so that's why it looks like it's in circle. But if you wish to do straight lines, we also have rulers for that. So. Yeah. Or just completely your own. You can just like have your own yeah, curved line and just do parallel lines to the curve. True, yeah. It's There's like tons and tons and tons of different options for that. But if you completely, totally do not, do not want to draw any of this. <laughs> yeah, if you're lazy like us. <laughs> You can, for example, we already have the, the layer mask, so it's very easy to do. You can hold, you can hold control and click on the layer mask, which will make a selection out of the mask. And then you go to the material palette, which you find on the right side by default. You can just choose one of the materials there and drag it onto the canvas. And boom, you have a very, very colorful... Shiny poncho. <laughs> shiny poncho with the stars, with all the stars. Yeah. It goes well with our theme, so. Yeah, and you can make it a little bit smaller and put it in a position that you like. Or if you don't like it, you can just like choose a different one and then um, just click this button at the bottom and just boom, very aggressively, <laughs> <laughs> very, very aggressive poncho. <laughs> very aggressive poncho, stuff like that. Or I don't know, do, do you have something else? Yeah, if you, and if you're, not a big fan of the art patterns that are already in there. We have many more patterns on assets, on Click yeah. Studio assets. People create amazing patterns for you to download, and it's very easy to download. Just put it on the software. Yeah. I just, I just, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that just didn't work. <laughs> that didn't work. Just a second, we're gonna do this again. So press Control, click on the on the layer mask, and then we drag this one in. And this one worked a lot better. So I'm gonna go with the. Yeah with the leopard print. It's always stylish, that never goes out of never fashion. Never go out of fashion. That's what yeah. we're gonna say on this program. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but there is more. So let's say you don't actually really like the color of the whole thing. Just after being done with everything, you're just like, nah, I don't really dig the orange in this one. <laughs> <laughs> you could just do, um, you could just get um, a correction yeah. layer and use a gradient map to try out different different vibes for your illustration. Okay. <laughs> so you can go to layer, correction layer, and then gradient map. And we're only applying this right now to the toucan because mm -hmm. that's where because it's right above uh, the toucan layer. So just so you know, but you can go crazy Ooh, with this, this one. Like like <laughs> toucan. And that's that's very aggressive. Or we do we have another one? Um, I actually really like that one too. Oh my oh, god, oh. it's it's a camouflaged one. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it has a transparency to it. Or just a very, very, very like Instagram type yes. of type of version. Let's go with this one for now and arrange the the layer so it's only applied to the toucan, for it's example. It's also important if you want to have a transparent background yeah. to so it clips to your character and not yeah, exactly. going with the background. Yeah, and you can just Click this little icon over yeah. here, so it will only clip to your character and nothing else. And then, if you want to include the um, the pattern, you can also drag this one down, do it as well. Oops, yep. we gotta turn this one off. And there you have it. You have your very um, oh, pinkish Instagram, orange yeah, <laughs> toucan. Instagram toucan, and you can of course like lower the opacity a little bit of the correction layer, so you have like 
more of a vibe with still the the color is yeah. more visible. And you have filters too if you're um, here, right there. Yeah, yeah. If you wish to change oh, yeah, exactly. the colors. You can have like, what What should we go? Glow is probably not going to do us any good, yeah, but like... Yeah, um, multiply. <laughs> do oh, overlay it to yeah. nothing. Oh, a little bit. A little it's bit. It's a bit more orange. Yeah, it's, a bit <laughs> <laughs> it's even more no, orange. orange. Um, I think uh, multiply should make it a little bit darker. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, yeah right. it's, it's more saturated and darker and you can just like set that as well so you have a lot of a lot a lot a lot of options on this one let's go back to normal for this normal we go with our instagram toucan all right mm -hmm. okay so now that we, we go with this one yep. and now we want to export it into uh, the format that's actually possible to be posted on twitter um, for this challenge right. because we need a transparent background for this specific illustration so we gonna go into file then export with single oh, layer first you should oh uh, right. the white background oh no i forgot the white background yeah. so very important yeah <laughs> um turn off the paper layer at the very bottom of most of your of your files there's uh, always a paper layer yeah. it will be created by default so there's a high chance you have it unless you have a template where you turn it off yeah so <laughs> usually there is a paper yeah. layer okay make sure to turn this off and you can see that the background is transparent if you see the checkerboard yeah. in the background and can you even see that <laughs> yeah it should be visible but don't worry it won't export with a checkerboard it just means yeah, that it's exactly. transparent yes okay and then finally now we go to file <laughs> <laughs> export single layer and we're gonna use a png, PNG. um we're gonna save it as a toucan yeah and then go save and for this one we actually want to use a specific scale because we need to make it smaller. So we're just going to go here. This is the original size. So we're just going to do 900 times 900 mm -hmm. and then go okay. okay. Then we get another preview of the whole thing. It's a bit smaller. And then we click okay. Yeah. And that exports our toucan onto a PNG file with a transparent background at the right size to be posted on Twitter. Yes, and please be careful, it has to be PNG because even if you save it as a JPEG yeah. transparently, it's still, it will still have a background. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, so it will just be a white background if you save it as a PNG, uh, as uh, a JPEG. Yeah, so. so please be careful, it's PNG. Yes, PNG, GIF, GIF, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> it will also work, GIF yeah. works. GIF should also work, but it's going to degrade the colors a little bit. Yeah. So the colors are more limited on GIF format, so make sure PNG is probably the it's best. It's the best, yeah. it has the best resolution, so yeah. Yes, exactly. All right, and I think that's so it for cool. the demonstration. Yeah, I think we're good. So let's cut back to the camera, please. All right, so of course there are many more features that you, you can use in Clip Studio Paint, but unfortunately this is all the time we have today. But yeah, uh, yeah. use those rule, rulers and brushes to help you to finish up your illustration because there are only two hours left, so it's not a lot, but it's still, I mean, two hours, you can two still... Hours? Well, we, we kind of have to be fair, it's only like two, an hour and 40 minutes yeah, at this point. So. But <laughs> that's still enough to draw a, yeah. little, a, little, a little toucan, for example. Yeah, a little toucan, for example. That's, that's good. Also, if you, have, if you already have an illustration that you think that fits into mm -hmm. the challenge, and all you need to do is just remove the background. Yeah, exactly. So um, as long as it's not fan mm -hmm. art, um, you're free to submit your original character set fit yes. into the theme. So we'd be really happy to have a look at them. So make sure to... Use this chance and yeah. maybe find your your own characters like on the Clip Studio Paint yes. splash, splash screen. And uh, again, if you post it on Twitter, please be be careful about the hashtag. We have all the eighty eight hashtags on our homepage, and if it's misspelled, it won't show up, and yeah. we can't pick it up and put it on the star chart. So ha check it out because also the names are not in English. Exactly. It's like we use the Latin. <laughs> yes. So, it's, for example, the toucan, uh, the toucan would not be toucan; it would be toucan. Yes. So, yeah, be careful about that. Make sure to spell it correctly. Yeah. Copy paste with your best friend in this situation because <laughs> it's it may not be what you think it is. Yep. Especially if you, especially if you're not even like from an English speaking country. Uh huh. Exactly. Yes. Like it's gonna be something completely different, probably. So make sure to use the ones that are on the homepage just to be sure and it should start with like csp underbar 88, 88 underbar yes. and then the name of the the latin yeah, latin name of the constellation 
so that you can find all of this. And yeah, you can also click them on the, not on the star chart, but like on the uh, on list the links. Yeah, the hashtag have links directly, that are linked directly to the Twitter. So if you, even if you don't want to draw, but just check out everyone's illustration, just click on the hashtags and you will see what illustration is yeah. connected to that specific hashtag. Yes, exactly. So you can have like a list and all the nice illustration that we've been seeing. So make sure to check them out on, on Twitter directly. Yeah. So I think that's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning again in the stream. And also if you haven't used Clip Studio Paint, we have a free trial available on our webpage. So please and make sure to download that and try it out. Yes, it's available absolutely. on all platforms. Yes, on everything, just like iPad, <laughs> Android, Windows, Mac, whatever you want, whatever is, <laughs> whatever you have, you can draw on your phone if you like. Yeah, exactly. So, so thank you very much again, and uh, hope we can see your illustrations. Yes, and the result will also be announced today. Yeah. So in uh, along with the result of everything, so make sure to check back on the homepage to see what's been going on. Yes. So, All right. Um, I think last time we had a question about the the crediting oh, of yes, the artists yes. uh, who whose um, illustration will be on the splash screen, mm -hmm. and they should be uh, the Twitter, the Twitter handle, handle names, and they will appear on the homepage. Yeah. So don't so, worry, you will be credited. <laughs> yes. And some things are still being arranged, but yes. uh, you will find the the winners will be visible, and you should be able to find out who it is right away. Yes. Okay. okay. I think we're checking. We're checking. Uh, yeah, we're checking YouTube the a little bit if there, if there are any comments, but mm, no. or if there are any questions. But it seems like there are no direct questions yeah. at this point. So yeah, let's let's end it then. Yeah. <laughs> Again, thank so, you for coming. Yes, exactly. Thank and you so much. See you soon. All right. Bye. bye.